Female genital mutilation, FGM, comprises all procedures that involve altering or injuring the female genitalia for non-medical reasons and it is recognized globally as a violation of human rights, the health and integrity of girls and women. In a bid to put a stop to this ugly menace, women in Ocean State, under the auspices of the National Council for Women's Society, NCWS, organized a sensitization and training program for members as part of activities to commemorate this year's United Nations International Day of Zero Tolerance for FGM. Speaking on the theme of this year's event, which is Her Voice, Her Future, an anti-FGM advocate, Mrs. Aduke Obela, was stated that girls who undergo female genital mutilation face short-term complications such as severe pain, shock, excessive bleeding, infections, and difficulty in passing urine, as well as long-term consequences for their sexual and reproductive health and mental health. Mrs. Obelawa called on women to speak against FGM practice and report those who may want to indulge in it to the appropriate authorities. Today it is the turn of the National Council for Women's Society, Ocean State Chapter. And we are here to sensitize, to train the members of NCWS. All the people that are here today, they are survivors of female genital mutilation. And if you look at the theme for this year, it's talking about our voice, our future. Raising our investing in a survival-led you know, movement to end female genital mutilation. And these are survivors. So we are encouraging them to use the power of their voices to campaign against female genital mutilation. In the olden days, female genital mutilation is not an issue for discussion. You just have to go through it. So far you are a, a woman or a girl. But today, the situation is changing. We are speaking out and we are speaking up. Similarly, in her submission, another FGM advocate and legal practitioner, Williams Grace, warned that FGM practice is illegal and anyone caught engaging or supporting the harmful practice risks jail term, adding that putting a permanent stop to the inhuman practice is a collective responsibility of all. She noted that the law that criminalizes FGM is contained in the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Law. In Nigeria, we have um, the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act. Act 2015, which was um, established to prohibit all forms of gender-based violence against women and girls and all persons in Nigeria. And inside that VAP Act, it expressly prohibits all forms of female genital mutilation against women and girls in Nigeria. And uh, all states in Nigeria are meant to uh, adopt those laws into their own state laws so that they can be guided by it. So Oshun State has already, um, they've implemented that law, they've domesticated it into law, which is the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Law, Oshun State, that is um, in 2020. And that law expressly prohibits uh, female genital mutilation. And one of the uh, penalties for those involved in female genital mutilation is four years imprisonment when you are found guilty of female genital mutilations, which includes the doctors, the nurses, any person that performs that act of female genital mutilation. The event climaxed with a road show as women with black heads walked through the streets, sensitizing the people against the dangers of FGM, just as they expressed a readiness to defend the female gender by speaking against the harmful practice at all times to everyone and everywhere. Aluchi Amuda. OSBC News.